Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the blog post now for the Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack. There's two different ones, so we're gonna just scroll through them together and see if there's any new information that we didn't find out previously. Now, I think this is just everything we already read, so let me just take a quick look. So it shows like the bonus items. We have the trailer here. Uh, make a life. Okay, yeah. So we did read this, but there is another blog post, but I don't know if it has like the same information. Bond with the animals, join a thriving community, race horses. So if you guys didn't see my video on the leak for like the steam leak, that was like the big leak that happened the other day and it had the description with it. So I did already read all this. I was very flustered in it and I just kept messing up words because I was too excited. <laughs> But then we also have this longer blog post. So saddle up with the Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack. But is this different? Okay, yeah, I think this has some different information. There might be some stuff that's similar, but it has all the pictures that were leaked that we've already seen. It doesn't look like there's any new ones, which I would have loved to see new photos. But I mean, we know how this works. All right, so it says here, there is no better feeling than coming home to your very own stretch of land inspired by the great American West. Players can explore the rustic local and curate their ideal ranch life. Whether that be a barn full of animal friends or a relaxing cabin on the prairie, each moment is sure to feel authentic and meaningful. I just love that it keeps mentioning cabins. I don't know, I love that vibe. In the Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack, players will have the opportunity to raise, train, and form special bonds with majestic horses and fall in love with adorable mini goats and mini sheep. Okay, I feel like there is some things they're mentioning that is like things that we've already read. Like this is just talking about training, raising, creating special bonds. I feel like that was also in the original description. This is mentioning the rocking chair. Okay, let's see what this says. Life on a working ranch. Welcome to Chestnut Ridge. Okay, so it does say the world name here. A rustic world inspired by the wide open skies of the iconic American West. This picturesque world is perfect for waking up in the morning to look out at the big open countryside from the ranch of your dreams, whether that be a traditional cabin or modern farmhouse. This still really isn't any new information, to be honest. This is just like, I wanted to hear like new, new things, but let me just keep skimming through because maybe there's something, but I feel like with the original description, it said these things, but just like worded differently. But of course we get to find out the world name. Okay. So it does say here that each animal will provide a unique contribution to the ranch, even if it's just to be adorable. Then it says here, Sims can experience mucking a horse bed, uh, lending a hand on the ranch and more. Okay. I'm very excited for the ranch hands. Okay. Again, this is just like very similar to what we already read. You know, it's talking about harvesting prairie grass, for the animal feeder. And then like when the work builds up, Sim Sims can hire a ranch hand to help. Then it mentions the nectar making. So they can stomp on a variety of fruit or potatoes or even trash. Okay. <laughs> So it's going to be bottled and it can be consumed in multiple servings and will have different effects. And then we can age it in nectar racks for more simoleons. Oh, so we can age it like wine. Okay. We love that. Okay. Again, this is kind of like what we already read. I don't think there's honestly anything new here other than Sims can shear the mini sheep and milk the mini goats for simoleons. Okay. I love that. So I love, love, love that they're going to be really a part of the farm. They're not just like something there that's like a bonus cute thing. Like we actually have gameplay with them. I was really hoping that this blog post was going to tell us like a bunch more because usually there's quite a bit of differences from the, you know, original game description. And then, you know, the, uh, the whole blog post that has like longer things written out, but this is long. So we might see more. So I'm not going to jump to conclusions just yet because I was like, oh no, is this going to be enough gameplay for an expansion pack? But I always wait to play it out first. So so I'm just going to wait and also I'm going to keep reading because there is a lot of information here because yeah, this paragraph is very similar to what we read as well, you know, training at the equestrian park. And then it talks about the cookout and dancing or ranch animal day. I don't think it's mentioned that before where they can interact with the animals. Okay. So then there's create breed and raise horses. We've heard and seen all your requests for horses and we are elated to announce that players can now customize who friends and create a sim or get new horses by rescuing, breeding, or purchasing them. So, so this we did find out in the pack description the other day as well. You can choose from real world breeds, change the horse's head shape, mane, tail, feathers, body mass, coat length, and more. Okay, so I think this is all new. The very best part. Foals can be born on your ranch. That's right. Players can have their horses nestle under the stars to make the perfect little foal. A combination of both of its parents and they may even unlock a unique trait. The joy of breeding and raising foals on your Sims ranch is one you won't want to miss. Each horse has its own personality and the foal will learn both... <gasps> 
from the family and trainer. Oh my god, that's so cool. Sims can explore by trotting their way down a long and winding trail or by going downtown to New Appaloosa. Ride around Riders Glen, the ranch's neighborhood. Be sure to check out Galloping Gulch, the national park neighborhood, which features plenty of scenic trails through the large rock formations as well as a campfire spot, a campfire spot, <laughs> and picnic areas. Your sim may come across Dead Horse Caverns, where the adventurers can enter and try their luck at exploring, or where the adventurers can enter and try their luck at exploring. Okay, so here, yeah, we're definitely learning more things now. I'm happy. Everything else was kind of like very similar, and I was a little concerned, but no, there's definitely more to the pack. Horses have four skills, temperament, agility, jumping, and endurance. Horses develop jumping skill by practicing on horse jumps. They develop agility by practicing on horse barrels. All of these skills apply to the competitions that take place at the equestrian center. Winning competitions result in simoleons, rewards such as plaques for your walls, and metal signs you can display on your big ranch sign. Sacred Healing Circle. Indigenous people have always had a deep spiritual relationship with horses, says Stacy Parshall Jensen, the Sims friend and sensitivity reader who collaborated on the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. They're a symbol of power. They provide healing and represent freedom and bravery to our indigenous culture. Together with the Sims team, Stacy worked to co-create food home items, and clothing that are represented in Horse Ranch, reflecting elements of Native American culture to celebrate the launch of this pack. The Sims team is making a donation to Sacred Healing Circle, a 100% Indigenous founded and led organization working to support Indigenous communities through preserving traditional mythologies and practices. Guys, this is so cool. Definitely go ahead and read that through. And then it just talks about the pre-ordering. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm excited. I am really glad that, you know, this was added at the end here that kind of gave me some more information about horses and bulls and everything because I definitely wanted to learn more and I feel like most of this is like the same as the pack description, just like a little bit longer and like worded differently. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. I am so excited. I feel like this is exactly what I hoped it would be to be honest and like I am so glad. Like this is so cute. I'm so glad they can actually interact. That was freaking adorable. Like we love this. And then this is the sheep that we saw the other day. <laughs> <laughs> in the little short clip that the sims released and look at this <laughs> It's so freaking cute, you guys. So go ahead and comment down below your thoughts. Are you excited for this? I'm so glad the release date was pretty much accurate, literally off by a day. And you know why it was probably off by a day? Because we usually will get a base game update the day before, sometimes two days before, but usually the day before. So it, it makes sense. So I don't know what's going to be coming in that base game update, but I'm definitely curious to find out. I think we're going to be getting customizable ceilings for the base game update because I don't think that would be in the pack. I definitely think that would be in the update before the pack. So July 20th, mark your calendars and also comment down below what you think about horses having traits. And I really wish they revealed them all. I feel like that's going to get leaked or something. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, I think I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up here. I hope you guys are excited as I am and I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.